Elevation certificate is basically something that was used to determine the height of the foundation of your property. It's determining the height of your first floor as well as the surrounding grades and your crawl space or what, what is below the first floor of the house. If there's a basement, if there's a crawl space, if it's on a slab. And these are determined so that uh, we, you know, we go around and we get elevations and we, and we run them to your property. Primarily they're used for the insurance companies to determine what your rates are going to be for flood insurance. Uh, in the case of the recent storm, it's, a lot of it's uh, being used to determine whether or not you're eligible for any kind of aid from the government. Um, I'm not quite certain exactly how they grade you, but there are different criteria in which, you know, whether your elevations are too low, too high, or, or if you have a uh, crawl space that doesn't have f uh, flood venting properly to let the water flow in and out of the foundation, um, then that's going to be a problem. Where your equipment is perhaps, uh, your oil burner, your you know hot water heater, those type of things, uh, those also come into play as far as what the insurance company is going to be liable for. So that's all taken into account when it comes to, you know, I guess determining your insurance eligibility and you know your claim eligibility as well. If your house has been flooded and you want to prove to the elevation to the insurance company that you know you were too low and they should help you to raise the house perhaps or that you know yes you did get flooded and and there's a problem there. So those those situations and then afterwards certainly to prove that you did raise your house accurately and that everything is going to work out if the next flood comes which we all know is a very good possibility these days on the island. We set the benchmark at two foot above the FEMA zone, and that's basically a minimum elevation in which when you lift your house, you have to put your floor at that elevation or higher. Then there comes the criteria also that if you lift it too high, you have a ridge height requirement. Some of the towns are relaxing that now, or the villages, you know, in the different places. Um, that's something you have to find out individually at the town level to see what they're going to allow you for ridge height because now you're raising the house you're also raising the ridge of course so they want to know make sure that you know everything's going to be where it's supposed to be go to your towns your your villages and find out what they're going to require because every one of them are different uh and, and to raise your house or even just to c fix your house up after the flood you know to to take out your sheet rock and you know that type of thing your flooring whatever it may have gotten damaged um, there's permits that the towns are requiring. So I've also been uh, told that a lot of these towns are allowing you to do this stuff without many fees or reduced fees or no fees. So the towns and everybody are trying to help the people that have been, you know, ravaged by the storm. So, and again, it's, it's likely to happen again. So the, the thought of raising your house, if it's a possibility, is not a bad plan.